Cornelia Vasquez. I'm with the Board of Directors for Habitat, and it's a pleasure to be here with everyone. Just want to welcome everybody, and I want to thank uh, several people that are here. I want to thank the sponsors for these builds, and they are Wells Fargo, The Deck, and Special Edibles has been providing treats throughout the whole build this, throughout this week, so we're very, very happy for them, right? Let's give them a big hand. They've been providing the portable potties, the portable toilets here, and they're going to be providing them throughout the whole builds also. So those are very important too, right? Yeah. Very important. Uh, Federal Credit Union is also among the sponsors. We're very happy to have them. Others are the CarQuest Auto Parts, Citizens Bank, um, Ninkasi, Tepco, Designs, um, and we want to thank also Citizens Bank and Grocery Outlet has said that when we finish up with the with the bills, they're going to fill the cupboards for both families with groceries. And in addition to filling their cupboards with groceries, they're going to provide them each with a hundred dollar gift card also. also with a prayer, so I'd like to introduce our special guest, Pastor Carlos Flores. Let's welcome Pablo. Just a prayer. Well, I just want to thank you all, especially for, I'm the pastor of the family, actually, you know, and I live right across the street, right there, in one of the two houses that are built, and I was, I was really happy, you know, I was really surprised, and it was a, it's a blessing. Uh, really from the Lord, I cannot imagine other other thing. I know the family for a couple years already. They have been attending our ministry, the Grammy Baptist, the Spanish department of the Grammy Baptist Church. Uh, well, I just want to thank you, everybody. I'm really excited to be here, and I feel really, um, I mean, it's a privilege to be here just to introduce in a word of prayer. So let's uh, pray, all right? Thank you, Jesus, for this uh, great moment, joy, joyful moment, Lord, that you give us uh, today, and thank you for. Uh, each one of these wonderful people that are here and we gather in your name just to thank you because you are the, the fountain of blessings Lord and uh, we want to thank you for the effort everybody is putting here and uh, we want to uh, thank you for Luciano and Juana uh, and uh, we just want to pray for this house especially that you bless the house and uh, put your hand of uh, blessing and uh, help those who abide under the roofs of this house just to be filled with your Holy Spirit, Lord, and bless them in a mighty way. Thank you, Lord, for these willing, uh, willing um, spirits, Lord, here in this in this place. So all the effort they're putting, all the time, the money, uh, the love. Uh, we appreciate, Lord, and uh, bless bless each one of them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Aaron Huttert. Um, I am on the board of directors, and uh, Jerry uh, could not be here this afternoon. Uh, he has a, a family wedding to attend, so he asked me to, uh, to say a couple of things, a couple of thank yous and introductions. So um, let me start with our board, um, on our chairman, uh, Carl Menkel, uh, Dan Fines, Clyde Hockman, uh, Mila Eubank, Marcy Sterling, Carrie Morris, Dennis Hauser and Adelia, um, you already heard from, uh, Larry, who is also here, uh, and Ken Spiegel. Uh, I just want to thank uh, each and every one of them for, without them, we wouldn't have uh, the direction and leadership uh, to kind of keep everything going. Uh, next, I just want to go ahead and thank the office staff, uh, Jerry, uh, Steve, who is our, uh, our business manager, keeps track of all of the... Uh, the numbers, which is always a good thing to keep track of those kinds of things. Uh, Connie Ferrier, uh, Katie, who is also here, and uh, Megan as well. Uh, and I want to thank each of you for uh, being the people who are keeping track of all of the day-to-day -day stuff, uh, keeping us on track and making sure that all the, the, the little details have been uh, attended to. 
And I want to give a special thank you to Tom Mason. I know he was around here somewhere. Oh, yeah. There he is, uh, right in front here. <laughs> Without Tom, um, these houses would not be anywhere near this condition because I'll tell you, if I had to do it, um, we would still be here um, trying to figure out how to make sure the concrete is not spilled out onto the ground. So, <laughs> so thank you very much for all of your time, sir. You're very welcome. Um, and thank you for fixing all my mistakes I made the other day. <laughs> um, I also wanted to uh, quick thank you to all of our sponsors. Um, and Adelia already mentioned all of them, but without each of them, we would not be able to keep up the kind of funding to make sure that we continue to provide all of the houses and all of the supplies and everybody that donated uh, time and equipment both. It, uh, it's a huge, huge help for us. And so if you get the chance to, uh, to thank any of those sponsors you come from across to see them, uh, I just want to ask you that you thank them in the way that you feel appropriate. And last, I want to go ahead and thank all the volunteers. Uh, many of them are standing right here, um, as well as those who have been in the last couple of days and last weekend. Uh, just put in the hours and swing in the hammers because uh, without that we, there's no way we could be able to get any of this done on a schedule that would meet anything so thank you for all of the blood sweat and tears and uh, the, the donations that you've been able to raise both yourself and through other sponsorships uh, that's that's very good so thank you very much for doing that and uh, last of all of course I just want to thank God that he's given us the opportunity to be able to uh, provide such such great uh, services and, and connections in our community. Thank you. Thank all of you. decided for, um, for our individual fundraisers, um, we, we put out the challenge that anyone who could raise the most money of the individuals, um, raising at least $2,000, the person that raised the most, uh, we were going to send to Nepal this year um, to participate in a habitat build in Nepal. And so we actually ended up having a couple of different people uh, really take that challenge and run with it. And um, we, we were amazed by how much they were actually able, able to raise and we started talking about it amongst the staff and talking to the board of directors, and we decided that uh, because of how amazing they were doing, if they could each raise three thousand dollars, we were going to send both of them. And they met those challenges. And so, um, first of all, I want to bring Zach up here. <laughs> Zach actually raised three thousand and eighty-five dollars, uh, so that was pretty uh, pretty amazing. Um, Jim, come out here. stopped after he hit 3,000. Apparently he thought he needed to raise even more than that. So he went all the way up to $3,860. Luckily this competition, they, they didn't end up hating each other. Now they love each other because they get to go travel to Nepal together. So they're going to be uh, super bros out in uh, international waters. So it's pretty cool. All right. So we also had um, a team challenge, and uh, the team that ended up winning that was Team Statron, who is here today. We actually won last year as well, so we're uh, ready to be So Team Statron, can you come out here? Zach is also on Team Statron. No idea. Come on, guys. Didn't even know. All right, they raised $5,085. Right. Yeah. get to a restaurant so they can all go out together and celebrate. McDonald's? Yes. 
All right. Anyway, so our goal this year was actually to raise twenty five thousand. So we're hoping to get you know a few more donations rolling in um, here in the next few days. But if anyone here wants to make a donation, I will be around. I can actually take a credit card, check, cash, anything you want to give. Um, we're hoping we can still uh, meet that goal because we did have um, the Hutter Family Foundation said that they would match every dollar that came in up to twenty five thousand dollars. So if we can hit that twenty five thousand dollars, we can actually raise fifty thousand dollars for this year's build a -thon. So uh, yeah. Great. Thank you guys. actually exchange blessings. We're going to have them write positive thoughts on each other's houses. So Becky and Charles Slate are the proud owners of the next house that we're going to start. So they're going to come and write some positive thoughts on the front door of this house. And since we haven't been able to start on the second house, we're going to have uh, Juana and her three girls write some positive <coughs> thoughts on what will be on the front wall of their house. Um, Luciano is unfortunately unable to be here due to a family emergency, so he will be coming back next week and he'll, he'll write on their wall when he gets home. So we'd like to have the families come forward. And if we could all take this moment to just to send out a few positive thoughts and prayers to the families that we need. ready for the build-a-thon, so I'd like to give them a big round of applause for helping out with that. Um, both of the families are required to put in 500 hours of sweat equity into either their home or another habitat home, and both of these families come out every single day of the build-a-thon, and they're well on their way to, to meeting that goal. And I know a few of them have said that they're going to come out and actually exceed that. They're, they want to come out and build the entire time. So I just want to acknowledge that. And now we're going to actually raise the last wall. So we get all the volunteers gathered. Get all the volunteers there. <laughs>
the house, big boy. We got the house. Come and get some. Come and get some. I need a scream. Ow! <laughs> we got the house.